My friends, we have encountered a predicament. We have encountered a situation that I was not aware of in the previous episodes, in the previous versions of my life. God, that sounded so deep. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video or if I just mentioned this on Twitter or something, but if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, you know, just actually don't follow me on Twitter because I barely post on there anymore. I promise I post on Instagram soon. I've just been teasing you guys over there, but I know it's. But I, but I, but I, but I realized that my uh, graphics card on this computer actually sucks a lot of pain. Uh, let me rephrase that. My graphics card is not very good. It is severely outdated. So I can't record literally any other game except for this, or or I guess Pirate 101, but that doesn't really count. So th we have we have two options here, right? I have this little this handy dandy. This Gucci Gucci laptop, this little, this little guy. So we can use that, and then I have to transfer the, the footage onto the here to edit it. That's a possibility. We can make that work, which I'm probably going to end up doing. Or I could try to buy a new graphics card, but I'm still not even convinced that that'll solve the problem, even though it should, because the rest of my PC seems good. I'll leave my specs in the description. If anyone wants to go, like, test it out and tell me if a 1060 would solve my problems, that would be awesome. Thank you. I thought we would do a little PvP on Belgrim today because you know what? Why not? And now I regret everything. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long one, boys. Well, this is a perfect time to start the discussion for today. So, I actually don't watch Netflix a lot, which may surprise or not surprise you depending on your perception of me. But I actually don't. I really don't. I wish I did. Like, in a theoretical world where I could pause time, I would watch Netflix, but that's just not possible in the current meta. But anyways, that was a long way of saying that yesterday I was, like, pretty sick. I didn't feel that great. So I actually watched some Netflix, and I watched, like, four or five episodes of the new season of 13 Reasons Why. I feel like this is gonna get some mixed reactions. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Her pet definitely has enfeebled us a thing. Oh, it's not gonna be over for a while. <gasps> okay. And, oh, yep, there we go. Sweet. It's one of those matches. Oh, my God. God damn! Calm yourself. It's really not about the gameplay. You guys shouldn't come here for the gameplay, you know? It's not about the gameplay. Anyways, uh, 13 Reasons Why. So I'm not really gonna get into, like, the whole deep discussion on it. I, I mean, I understand why some people might disagree with the show. I think that if you guys watched the new season, they did, like, a little disclaimer short video intro thing at the beginning, which I thought was well done. I think that they've obviously learned their lesson from the first season, and I honestly think that they're going about it in a pretty decent way. But that's just my opinion. Feel free to disagree. That's not really the point that I want to hit on, though. Sergeant Commander, we have encountered a situation. We are not going to be able to win this match without using some hardcore strategies. I'm calling in for backup. No! Okay, anyways, 13 reasons why. The, the takeaway. It's not like crazy deep, but I just feel like, especially from the perspective of someone who's interested in education, and also from the perspective of someone that doesn't like have a whole ton of emotions, like I'm not a very emotional person. I'm trying to think the best way to explain this in words, you know what I'm saying? I kind of want to just do this, dude. I don't want to just do this. Yep, we're doing this. We're doing this. Blade again. Blade again. Blade again. Shh. I got outplayed. I got severely outplayed. So severely outplayed. I, that wasn't a good move to begin with, but I just got so outplayed. Okay, so if you guys have ever seen 13 Reasons Why... That if you haven't, then I, I don't know, I'm just not going to give you context. Basically, the show's about a bunch of different high schoolers, and it gives you a lot of different perspectives on different people in high school, which is interesting. I mean, to be honest, it's pretty overdone, and it's kind of dramatized, and it's supposed to be entertaining, right? So it's a little bit unrealistic. I'll, I gotta give them props, though. Like, for the new season, they've weaved in a lot of really interesting, like, the way they've, like, included consent, but also, like explain how it can be more complicated like it's actually really well done in my opinion in my opinion the writing the filmmaking is very well done the thing that i think is interesting is to look at like how the different perspectives but more importantly how like people always have shit going on outside of outside of school or outside of their job or something i just feel like that's the most interesting thing to me it's not like you don't know that you obviously know that people are going through stuff but i think at least for me as someone who's not super emotional and has a hard time like just i, I often overlook how other people feel 
you know, it's a, it's a flaw. But like, for me, it's interesting to just sort of take a step back and God, <sighs> this is stupid. But it's, it's good for me, I think, to take a step back and just kind of get a perspective on like all the different possible things that people could be both, that, th what, that people are what? All the different things that people could be going through. It's just interesting. I think it's, I think it's a good portrayal of just how complicated stuff can be. And like, especially for me, again, as someone who will judge people quickly, like when you judge someone at school for, you know, not having the homework done or not being as smart, or, you know, they're like, oh, they just don't care about school, all oh, they're this, all oh, they're that. It's just good to remember. It's just good to remember that sometimes people have stuff going on outside of school and you should be mindful of that and you shouldn't really assume what that is. Um, and I think that's that's something that I am guilty of and I'm also oh god yuck I hate this spell so much when it's used against me when I use it oh it feels so good but I just hate having it used against are these even enchanted oh they're very enchanted they are the most enchanted spell you can find on this beautiful children's card game so usually I win these but uh Oh, ho, what? Hmm. Reap, reap, reap. If I clutch this dude, I'm literally Jesus. Unfortunately, I'm not Jesus. That was close, though. That was close. Damn, GG. Respect. Well played. Well played. I wasn't gonna win that. Respect. GGs. She got. She's just. She's just too good. You know. That's what it is. Respect. She called me a noob. I'll take it. You know what? It's whatever. I'm probably a noob. I'll take it. It's whatever. Fair game. Fair game. Okay, guys. That's it for today's video. A short video, but I just thought that was interesting. Give me your take on that. I don't know. That was that was supposed to be really deep, but it really wasn't. All I think the takeaway is, is just like, remember that people have lives outside of school or outside of where you work, and that they might have a big impact, and they might not want to bring that in there to your life, and so you should just be mindful of that, and just understand other people's perspectives. 13 Reasons Why. I think it's a good show. I mean, personally, like, I'm not, like, addicted to, like, the, the high school drama part of it. Like, I mean, I can get interested in it just because we're humans and we like gossip, but I'm not really about that. But I really respect the show, personally. I respect the filmmaking and the writing. I think it's well done. I think it's pretty edgy. I think it's pretty meta. But you guys are welcome to disagree with me. I, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on the show or what I just said or just life or just whiz or just anything that comes to your mind as you're watching this video or you know on how bad i am at pvp anything that comes to your mind whatever you want to do just leave it in the comments you know i'd be interested to hear so you know just leave a like on this video turn on post notifications subscribe all that garbage and i will see you guys tomorrow peace top five a minute now i get the money in big amounts give it out i help the people that's in the crowd all of my dreams i've been living out i'm working hard like the people that in and out i'm in the game i ain't sitting down people be trying to figure out how i be spitting the quickest this nigga gonna rip it like i swear the ticket they giving out blow like a kneecap is giving out Jeez. travel the world and i run it out i bring my people to kick it out call that the trickle down whole team is winning my chickens the thickest i hit it the minute she stick it